there's a hawk that just landed over there. Oh, right by a dead raccoon. Oh, hell yeah. We got a bunch of little angus back here. Oh, f***ing A. Is that a loon? Yikes. Good morning, everybody. We are early this morning. I had to take the kids to school. And I brought my camera gear today. I got the Sony a7 III with the Sony 200-600 to telephoto. We're going to drive around. We're going to see what we can find. I'm looking for anything interesting today. Birds, any kind of critters or creatures, uh, landscapes, buildings, anything that's got unique lighting. I'm a sucker for anything that's got some good lighting, which I don't know if we're going to have good lighting today. It looks pretty overcast and cloudy. Uh, but we'll see what we get. So the cool thing about doing these like photo drives that I call them is I can cover so much ground in a short amount of time um, I've seen videos where people are walking around and doing this kind of thing which is cool I appreciate that especially when you live in a city I mean that's what I would do if I lived in a city but I don't live in a city so this is kind of like this is how I have to do it or this is what works for me so buckle up let's find something interesting today so what I'd like to do, because this is kind of, uh, you can consider it a safety hazard as I <laughs> talk my cell phone. I like to take the back, really back country roads where I know there won't be a lot of traffic. Here we might have our first thing today actually over to the side. We got a bunch of turkeys. Hot dang. So I put my hazards on, just pull over. Get out. I don't know if you can see them way out on there. This isn't going to be anything fancy today. Oh, they're all running from me now. There's some birds here I might try to get. There. Uh, as I turn around. Oh, they were too close. There's one there, actually, in a tree branch. We're going to see if we can get this guy. We're going to pull ahead so we don't spook him. This is a quieter road, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, yeah, he's perched up nice for us. Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah. Oh, we got him singing. I'm trying to think. Maybe I can talk through some of my other settings. I've got my ISO set to auto. Uh, I think I'm in aperture. No, I'm in program mode. Uh, aperture. Pff, aperture. Aperture actually fluctuates. I think I usually keep it as wide open as I can go. Uh, unless I need a little bit more depth of field. Auto ISO. So then what that does is it basically what I can do in the Sony a7 III is say when I have auto ISO selected I can set my shutter speed to be the minimum was like don't go lower than I think I got it set today at no no slower than 1 500th of a second which should do us okay today oh there's a hawk that just landed over there I'm gonna turn around see if I can get him of course it was right when I pulled out and this is a busier road so I'm not gonna sh will I shoot from this road Maybe I will, because it'll get me a little bit closer, and there's plenty of shoulder space here. Actually, I'm going to do it right here. He's kind of far away, but we'll see. Yeah, he just... He moved on me. He moved branches on me. There we go. Oh, I got a nice barking dog. A little bit of traffic. Let's see if I can get him. The tree branches in the way, though. I don't know if that's going to turn out. I might go up the road and see if I can get him. I might have a better shot coming at him the other way. Actually, these are better shots here. Hopefully he stays there. Also, I like the backdrop a lot better. He pops out. This one I might even shoot from the car. Because in my experience, if I get out right now, he might fly on me. bad we'll see I think that'll do for that one in the winter time it's really easy to see the um, Cardinals and Blue Jays because they just pop right off that white background background there it's a little bit harder in this kind of drab scenery all I see here are blackbirds and red winged blackbirds which is fine we'll see if we can find any more big birds <laughs> big birds <laughs> I see you cow 
So I got a shot here. We got cows, we got horses up there. I don't really have a shot that I like. Too flat of a shot, I won't take that. When they're on a hill like that, it's kind of hard. Ooh, turkeys in the road, turkeys in the road. I see turkeys, let's not scare them. We just scared them. Oh, it's too late. You mother effers. Look at these guys. Look at those guys. I was two minutes late. <laughs> I would have got them crossing the road. The other thing I absolutely love doing is getting lost. <laughs> so, uh, or maybe, I don't know, being put in uncomfortable situations, I kind of enjoy that. Because then you really have to rely on your own instincts. Oh, here we go. What is this? We got some cow. We got, we got a cow. Pause that. Pause that TED talk. What's going on? <clears throat> These guys in particular, I want to spook them. This, we're going to get low. Where you at? There you are. Kind of very compelling. Here we see the North American Angus in its natural habitat, enjoying some fresh prairie grass in the pasture. Oh, I know, I don't have my seatbelt on. Oh, hell yeah, we got a bunch of little Angus back here. Maybe some Herefords. We're gonna perch up right by this fence. Oh, shit, yes. So if you aren't familiar with cattle, they can be a curious bunch. So we'll see if they come up and say hello. What you looking at? I'll get that Herford back there. I really like that. This guy's just staring me down. Got that Herford. You know, it's interesting, I post these obviously on social media and there's a, a person that was asking for a red Hereford. And that right there is a red Hereford. Got the babies down there further, I don't know if I can get them. There's the baby. Look at the baby. Oh yeah, here they come. I told you they would come up here. Red. Red Hereford. Get too close, I gotta back up. Go sideways on ya. It's like a punk rock album cover right there. Alright, so that provided some ample shots. Cows, curious critters. Fun fact, I grew up on a dairy farm in Wisconsin. I couldn't get more <laughs> stereotypical Midwestern than uh, if you asked for it. I'd have to turn around and just get a picture of that sign. You know what? I am gonna turn around because I think I wanna keep heading back that way anyways. I think this is where the sign's at too, so I'm gonna pull over here. It'd be nice if a bird landed on that sign. Okay. Semi coming, I'm gonna get out of the way here. After I get a shot of him. Yikes! This is why I don't like going on busier roads. You know, one for safety, but two for the truck. The truck drivers don't want to be passing some crazy person like me with a big ass lens on the road. The guy right now is probably thinking, what in the hell is that dude doing? Idiot. All right, next goal is to find some landscape or buildings that catch my eye, tickle my fancy. I got rumblies in my tumblies. Where are you taking me, road? More cows, horses. Ooh, cows in a little river, though. That we'll take a shot of, because that's kind of different. Robins right there too. Spook them out. It's again a curious cow just looking at me. Uh, it'd be nice to get. I'm 
too tight of a lens, you can't tell, but there is. Oh hell, they got like geese and ducks over here too. Or I don't know what the fuck those are actually. I get this red winged blackbird while we're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. So, I gotta turn around. I just saw two duckies landing. This weird looking, I don't know if it was a pond, runoff, what it was. There's a spot right here that I think is going to give me enough coverage where I won't spook them. So they got to be quiet. Ah, uh, spooked them. Somehow I still spooked them. And my tracking skills are not that good when I'm at 600 millimeters. <laughs> I don't think I got any of those flight shots. Let's see. Blurry. All right, just found some geese on the water. Geese on the water. Da, da, da. Don't spook them. A person walking a dog over there. Oh, fucking A. Is that a loon? What are you? I like it. I don't know what that is. I'll have to see that on the computer. That's not what I saw originally when I came here to shoot. Those geese are getting there's that person walking the dog. <clears throat> Whatever that is, this got me intrigued. I hear you, geese. Shut up. Okay. That should be good for now. Now we're gonna have smoke on the water stuck in my head. I don't know what the heck that white bird was. Is that like a... I'm gonna have to... Pull that up on my computer screen. I'm gonna stop and see if I can get another closer shot. Oh, right by a dead raccoon. change my focus all right let's get these geese that's what I came here for oh there they fly in now that I don't have my tracking on god damn all right oh yeah I'll get that dead raccoon so I can show you guys he's sleepy Let's see if I can get these geese from here, actually. As soon as I took my tracking off, those birds flew away. Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Uh, turn my tracking back on. Because um, if I don't use it, I won't get better at it. And I just missed... A really cool shot those two birds took off and they're really low to the water and if I had my tracking on I would have came away with the shot of the day for me I think heartbreaking I'm actually gonna turn around because I found my first non-nature subject of the day and let's hope he stays there I gotta turn around to get him it's gonna be a surprise. Are you ready? It's gonna be a surprise. <laughs> Looks like he's staying in there. So we're just gonna go up here. A wee bit. Actually, I might. Eh, yeah, go beyond the bridge. Go over here. Alright, let's see if this pans out. Oh shit. Talking about Mountain Dews, baby. Oh, 
I just saw that composition and loved it. You got the Mountain Dew truck, modern looking truck, on that old storefront with the old Pepsi uh, can dispenser. What would you call that? I don't know what you call that. Uh, pop machine? That's what it's called, right? Pop machine. Now I want to turn around though, because I like that little town. Oh, hell. I don't know who this is. And I didn't uh, plan on taking this shot today. I just wanted to turn around. But this is kind of cool. I like you, that car. Let's see if we can get another shot back here. Let's frame this up. God damn. Pardon my language. Uh, I was just using this driveway to turn around. I didn't even know that existed back there. Let's see if I can't get another shot right over the car here. I don't know. Caught my eye. Oh, Alright, let's turn around. Every now and then I'm gonna get hit with a copyright claim. Oh, brother. Okay. Alright, so we got a few shots that weren't nature related. That psychs me out. Let's see what else we can find here. Alrighty. Just pulled over. I'd stopped recording. But there is a little birdhouse up here with a bird on it. I'm gonna see if I can get it. shoot far far back today there's also a bird in the foreground which I think is awesome flew away okay well we got a few shots fired off let's keep on keeping on well guys I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here today and call this photo adventure over the baby's getting a little hungry I gotta get her home and fed should probably log on to work and get my day started there too um but i hope you guys got something from this i hope it was informative entertaining and all of the above if not let me know uh give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down i guess for that matter uh, help me gauge what's going on uh, if you're not already subscribed i would appreciate it uh just so you could follow along and take along on these types of photo drives i guess uh i'd like to do more uh time permitting uh, this kind of content really gets me excited and I'm very passionate about it so yeah I hope to do more of these and I hope you guys take along with me until next time keep shooting guys peace